Albert Einstein once said, "Everybody is a genius." But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today on trial we have modern day schooling. Glad you could come. Not only does it make fish climb trees, but also makes them climb down and do a 10 mile run. Tell me, school, are you proud of the things you've done? Turning millions of people into robots. Do you find that fun? Do you realize how many kids relate to the fish swimming upstream in the class, never finding the gifts, thinking they're stupid, believing? Well, the time has come. No more excuses. I call school to stand and accuse them of killing creativity, individuality, and being intellectually abusive. He is a nation institution that has only few usage. So, Your Honor, this concludes my opening statement. And if I may present the evidence of my case, I will prove it. Proceed. Exhibit A. Here's a modern day phone. Recognize it? Here's a phone from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Stay with me. Here's a car from today, and here's a car from 150 years ago. Big difference, right? Well, get this. Here's a classroom of today, and here's a class we used 150 years ago. Now, in that shame, in the literally more than a century, nothing has changed. Yet you claim to prepare students for the future, but with evidence like that, I must ask: Do you prepare students for the future or the past? I dig a backlog check and you let the record show that you are made to train people to work in factories, which explains where you put students. Nice and neat. Tell my sister Razor, and if you want to speak, give him a short break to him for eight hours a day. Tell him what you think. Oh, and make them complete to get an A, a letter which determines product quality. Hence, grade A of meat. I get it. Back then, times were different. We all have a past. I'm a self, no Gandhi. But today's, we don't need to make a robot zombies. The world has progressed, and now we need people who think creatively, innovatively, critically, independently, with their Ability to connect. See, every scientist will tell you that no more two brains are the same, and every parent with two or more children will confirm that claim. So please explain why you treat students like cookie cutter frames or snapper hats. Give them this one-sided soul crap. Watch your language. Sorry, Your Honor, but if a doctor prescribed the exact the same medicine to all of his patients, the results would be tragic. So many people would get sick yet when it comes to school. This is exactly what happens. This educational malpractice, where one teacher stands in front of twenty kids, each one having different strengths, different needs, different gifts, different things, and you teach the same thing in the same way, that's a rape. Ladies and gentlemen, the defendant should be acquitted. This may be one of the worst criminal offenses ever to be committed. And let's mention the way you treat your employees. It's a shame. I mean, teachers should earn just as much as a doctor because a doctor can do heart surgery and save the life of that kid. But a great teacher can reach the heart of that kid and allow him to truly live. See, teachers are heroes that often get blamed, but they're not the problem. They work in a system where there are many options. All right, curriculums are created by policy makers. Most of which have a tough day in their life. To subvert the standard of testing, they think bubbly multiple choice questions would determine success. That's outlandish. In fact, these tests are too cruel to be used and should be abandoned. But don't take my word for it. Take Frederick J. Kelly, the man who invented standard of testing, who said, and I quote, "These tests are too cruel to be used and should be abandoned." Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if you continue down this road, the results will be lethal. I don't have much faith in school, but I do have much faith in people. And if we can customize healthcare, car, then Facebook pages, then it is our duty to do for the same education, to upgrade, change, do away with school spirit, 'cause it's useless unless. We're working to spring the spirit of each and every student. That should be our task. No more common core instead. Let's reach the core of every heart in every class. Sure, math is important. Let's give every kid an equal chance. I know it sounds like a dream, but countries like Finland are doing impressive things. They have shorter school days. Homework is non-existent, and they focus on collaboration instead of competition. But here's a kick of boys and girls. Their education. Outperforms every other country in the world. 
Other places like Singapore are succeeding rapidly. Schools like Montessori, programs like Khan Academy. There is no single solution, but let's get moving. Because why students may be 20% of population, they are 100% of our future. So let's attend to their dreams. There's no telling what we can achieve. This is a world which I believe. A world where fish are no longer forced to climb a trees. I rest my case.